Hi, welcome to the package chaser investigate the DCPIP and OSI models in action. This simulation activity is intended to provide a foundation for understanding the DCPIP protocol suite and the relationship to the OSI model. The simulation mode here allow you to view the data contents being sent across the network at each layer. As data move through the network, it is broken down into smaller pieces and identified so that the pieces can be put back together when they arrive at the destination. Each piece is assigned a specific name, PDU, and associated with a specific layer of the TCPIP and OSI models. And this simulation mode enables you to view each of the layers and the associated PDU. And this activity leads you through the process of requesting a web page from a web server here by using the web browser application available on a client PC. Now we move on to part one, examine HTTP web traffic. So in the lower right corner of the package chaser interface, you can switch between real time and simulation mode. Package chaser always starts in real time mode in which networking protocol operate with realistic timings. However, a powerful feature of package chaser allows the user to stop time by switching to simulation mode. In this mode, Packages are displayed as animated envelopes. Time is event-driven, and the user can step through networking events. And above the simulation mode button, we have edit filters button to edit what types of events to show, and show on or none to show or hide own event ties. And here, on the event list filters, we filter only see the HTTP traffic. When you click on edit filter or show all none, you can see we have many type of protocols, IPv4, ARP, DNS, ICMP, IPv6 and mix we have many type of protocol on mix tab now i check on http and https and close this window you can see on the list filter we already had http and https protocols you can click on edit filters. Now I remove HTTPS. And here we only have HTTP. When you click on show all, you can see all the protocols on the TCP IP protocol suite will display here. When you click again, none. So none of the protocol can be displayed here. Now we will generate web traffic from web client. Because Simulation mode is event driven, so you should you play control. To see the event, I click on play. You can see the HTTP packet is sent from web client to the web server. And then the web server return the packet. And then you can click on play again to stop the event process. 
when you open the web client, you can see that the web is displayed on the web browser. Now we will examine the HTTP packet under the event list and type column on the OSI model tab. You can see the in layer and out layers. Now we can see a device web client. It means this packet is from the web client, the source web client, and the destination is HTTP client. The out layer, we click on layer 7 and we see the description the HTTP client sends a HTTP request to the server. And then we click on layer 4. You can see the description on the layer 4. The client sends segment information with the sequence number is 1. The ACK number 1 and the data length 102. On layer 3, because the destination IP address is in the same subnet, the web server and the web client is the same, it's in the same subnet. Then the device sets the next hope to destination. And you can see the source address IP, this IP is a web client, and the destination IP is a, a web server. On layer 2, you can see the MAC address of the web client and this is the MAC address of the web server. And here, the three steps of the ARP protocol. And then we click on layer 1 port. The port FAT is a net zero sending a nano frame at this time. So the device buffer the frame to be sent later. Now we can click on the outbound PDU details. So this is the PDU format in detail. So another word, the information listed under the PDU format is reflective of the layers within the TCP IP model. You can see the Ethernet frame with the destination MAC address of the web server and the SUAC address of the web client, the TI, the FCS, and the data. And on the layer 3, uh, we have IP PDU format with the SUAC IP and destination IP address. And on the layer 4, we have the TCP protocol with the port, the SUAC port at the web client and the destination port 80 is the web port on the web server with the sequence number, the ACK number, the window, and other fields on the TCP uh, heater. And the HTTP request, you can see the content on the HTTP request. And because uh, the port FAT is a net zero, it's sending another frame at the time. So the first frame is buffer to be sent later. So now we click on the second HTTP packet. We can see that only layer one port part is at zero. The device takes out this frame from the buffer and sends it. And the FAT Ethernet 0 sends out the frame to the web server. 
you can see now we can click on the third packet from the web client to the web server you can see this packet is at web server and from the web client when we click on in layers and layer 7 you can see the description of the server receives a HTTP request and then uh, the server device analyze all the information on the TCP header on layer 3 the server examine the information on the IP packet on layer 2 the server send back the Ethernet frame to the web client through the port 5 Ethernet 0 and our layer the server send back HTTP reply to the web client with the information it's packed or encapsulated into layer 4 then down to layer 3 with the IP address of the destination is the IP of the web client the MAC address on layer 2 is the destination MAC address of the web client and through the port FAT Ethernet 0 of the server now we click on the web uh, the sorry the uh, fourth HTTP packet to examine the content so on the information on this uh, packet you can see a device web client it means the web client received the packet from the web server receive a HTTP reply from the server and display the web page in the browser with the information in each layers are displayed here. Now we move on to part 2, display elements of the TCP IP protocol suite. We can now click on show or none and on the IPv4 tab uh, you can see the ARP protocol. This protocol requests MAC addresses for the destination host. Then the DNS is responsible for converting a name. For example, 3W for example, www.osi. For example, www.osi.local to an IP address. For example, the 3w.osi.local to an IP address. The additional TCP IP events are responsible for connecting agreeing on communication parameters and disconnecting the communication section between the devices and currently we have a total of more than 35 possible protocols or event types available for capture with, within uh, the packet tracer now I click on edit filter or oh, no I click on show all none and I only examine the DNS protocol now on the event list we click on the first DNS packet you can see on layer 7 the DNS with the source port and destination port it 53 and uh, the layer 3 information layer 2 information 
and the outbound PDU detail. You can see the DNA query, the name osi.local, osi.local DNS query. Now we click the second uh, DNS packet and see the DNS query is buffer on the buffer of the web client. And we can see that the third DNS inbound PDU, we check for the DNS query. Name, a DNS answer here. You can see DNS answer. The DNS answer, the name, and the IP address of the server. So it means uh, the DNS server answer the DNS query with the IP address of the server. Someone can ask me where is the DNS server? So my answer is it's the web server. We can click on the web server and on the services tab click on the DNS. You can see that there is the DNS server or the DNS service is on with a record, the A record to map or to resolve from the name to the IP address here. And the web server is a DNS server. And the last uh, DNS packet is the same as the HTTP packet we can examine and click on each layer to see uh, to see the information on each layer. For example, this, uh, say this layer, the DNS client receive a DNS response and on the DNS response, uh, it contains a resolved IP address for the query domain. So with my guide, you can examine further and you can choose another protocol and we can see the OSI model with the detailed PDU format and answer challenge question on the activity. Thanks for watching.